Thinking of cities a very important topic and case study for those from geography and geology background. Now, understanding the recent case study of a sinking city, Joshimat. Joshimat lies in the region of Uttarakhand in India. As you can see this map of India, bordering to Nepal is the state of Uttarakhand. Within Uttarakhand, the location here that is marked is the Joshimat. Now, why Joshimat is significant? First important question. Joshimat is significant because close to Joshimat, 45 kilometers from here is Badrinath, uh, a pilgrimage. The next is Oli, a hill station. Close to it is India-China border, a major point for Indo-Tibetan police force. Again, this place is a major point to go to places like Hemkund Sahib. Uh, the city is to the south of Vishnu Prayag, which is again at the confluence of Alaknanda and Dholi Ganga, two important tributaries which ultimately uh, merge into Ganga River. And therefore, this region becomes a important region also it is in proximity to valley of flowers now with so many uh, centers around this place has started to develop as a tourist spot with hotels eateries proliferating across the region another important thing that we need to understand is originally the population here is only 20000 with around 500 families which is part of this in 1976 there was a committee which was known as mishra committee and this mishra committee gave the recommendations that this land is ecologically fragile if over construction is done in the region or the periphery it could have detrimental consequences however no heed was paid to the mishra committee report um, mishra see mc mishra was the commissioner of uh, the region of Garhwal during that time this report commit this committee report was not given heed and as a result we have the present consequence of sinking cities it's not just the Joshimat but the neighboring regions of Karn Prayag as well uh, the most important thing over the period of time that we have observed is this place has been ecologically sensitive this is also in one of the main Himalayan uh, thrust it is also in a seismically active zone so there are numerous things which surround the fragility for this region that we need to understand we'll go into the intricacies of each one of those one by one but to overview this region witnessed landslides cloud burst flash floods between 2000 to 2009 which killed more than 500 people in that region uh, then between 2010 to 2020 there have been extreme weather events and a series of those which killed nearly three times the um, figures which were cited previously to understand the basic question why does a land sink now there are numerous answers to it the first is the movement of the earth crust so if the earth crust starts to move that means there is the thin outer layer that moves then what would happen the land would begin to sink the second important reason is since as i mentioned it is seismically active that means earthquake again become a important region the next is depression or formation of a sinkhole that depends on the underground topography. Now, if there are sinkholes that would lead to sinking of the land. The fourth important region, reason is extraction of groundwater. Now, extraction of groundwater is cited as one of the most important problems and according to US Geological Survey, 80% of the land subsidence that occurs globally is because of the excessive uh, extraction of the groundwater. A good example to cite here is Jakarta. We have covered case study of Jakarta and the formation of new capital of Indonesia in a separate lecture because of the same reason. The next is when there is uh, rainwater falling, household waste flowing, if there is a high pore pressure in the soil that reduces the strength of the soil and ultimately the slope would get unstable. So that instability 
created is again an important reason for sinking of the land. So those are some of the geological and geographical reasons that we must have in mind. Now to understand what actually happened in the regions of Joshimat. So this is the region of Joshimat. Here is the Tapovan Vishnugar uh, project that is the hydroelectric power project. Here is another major construction from Helang to Selang and this is a Helang bypass as it is called as and this would significantly reduce the distance reaching to Badrinath, one of the major pilgrimage centers. Now, this region of Heleng and Salang is not more than 5 kilometers from Joshimat. Again, the Tapovan Vishnugar project was in controversy. There was a, a big debate when the Rishiganga power project collapsed. And this project of NTPC, which is the Tapoga, Tapovan Vishnugar project, uh, when the construction started, this uh, there were two aquifers and one of the aquifers actually got punctured and this puncture of aquifer again created a major issue in the nearly 10 years down the lane uh, back from now. The next is the Helling bypass. Uh, there are two ends. So tunneling from one side is done by the means of blasting. From the other side, the tunneling is done by the tunnel boring machine. Now, these are again responsible for the happenings in this region. As I mentioned, it's not just the region of Joshimat, but surrounding to Joshimat, the regions of Karnprayag, Nenital are also about to witness similar issues. Joshimat, there have been various um, concepts. One says that it is deposited as a result of glacial moraine flowing through over the years. The other study says that it is an example of a landslide, a city situated onto the slope of the uh, landslide that happened and the debris that deposited. Now this debris usually had big boulders and therefore the murky water that has come in is responsible for the damages. Now the real reason specifically for the sinking of Joshi Mart, sorry. Uh, apologize for the mistake here. Okay, the spelling here, Joshimat. Okay, the reasons for the sinking of Joshimat. The first important is the location and the terrain. Now, as I mentioned, it is on a slope. Now, this slope could be because of a landslide, the debris deposited and got stabilized over a period of time or because of glacial moraines. But in reality, as of now, there are four important rivers that flow around it. On the west is the Karmanasa. On the east is the Dhankanal. In the north is the Alaknanda. And in the south is the Dholi Ganga. So four important rivers flowing through this. And the first incidence of subsidence was recorded back in 1976. Around 10 to 20 days back, there were uh, issues of cracks appearing in the homes and the residential and the, uh, the commercial areas. But the government and the uh, authorities paid no heed to it. It started to go further deep. However, the cracks were witnessed back since the month of October itself. Now, the real reason is the boulder and the flow that deposited here are making the town highly vulnerable to the uh, the sinking and the weathering of the genesized rock is another important factor. The next is the geology of the region. If we talk about the geology of the region, this lies in the Chamoli district and zone 5, which is the most active seismic zone in the country of India and therefore this has a very uh, fragile ecological existence we could say. It also sits on the vertica thrust, another important aspect and this vertica thrust is a tectonic fault line. Very close to it, very close to Joshimat lies the main central thrust and the Pandukeshwar thrust. So these are one of the reasons why the rocks of the Garhwal group as they are called, at, uh, called as and they belong to the Joshimat formations uh, under the geological uh, era have been 
very very sensitive and very very fragile the next is the unplanned construction huge amount of constructions e trees hotels coming in and around the region the tunnel boring machine which was employed in 2009 actually punctured one of the aquifers as i mentioned and when this aquifer was punctured near the shelong village um, near alaknanda it is believed that 70 million liters of water was discharged and on a daily basis and this amount of water was enough to sustain 3 million people so this amount of water when came out there was a constant dewatering effort which was done and this contributed to the instability of the slope in the existing region following which we have seen in 2021 the hydroelectric power project got off which was the rishi ganga project and then there was huge amount of slope instability issues which were witnessed in and around joshimat since 2021 as we had seen an unplanned construction more than uh, 7000 megawatts of uh, projects being sanctioned is an addition to the reason of sinking joshi mud the fourth important aspect is improper water drainage the region does not have proper sewage drainage proper water drainage the drainage systems block the natural drainage flow and as a result when anthropological activities when human activities block the drainage flow they definitely affect the region and this region gets um, de uh, dismantled so another important reason for sinking cities joshimat in india